What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a software and it's a distributed software to operate a peer-to-peer -peer network between um, members who are all equal on the network, they're all peers. And what this software does is that it allows you to operate a, uh, a payment network between those peers. And that payment network has its own currency. And that seems like, you know, just a simple software game. But the reason this is such a big deal is, I believe Bitcoin is the most advanced form of money ever invented. And the reason for that comes from two properties that this network has. The first one is that the currency is the hardest money ever invented. It's the money whose supply is the most resistant to inflation. It's the first monetary asset that we've ever invented that is guaranteed to be fixed in its supply that cannot be increased beyond a certain number. So there's only ever going to be 21 million Bitcoins. And that's, that's, a, that's a qualitative leap forward in our technologies of money. All of our monies leak essentially because people can always make more and, and more and more of them. You know, the best money is the one that leaks the least, which is gold because it only leaks one and a half percent. In other words, your share of the gold stock is diluted by one and a half percent every year. Ideally, you'd like it to be zero. Bitcoin is currently at around 1.8% headed towards zero. So it's the first money that we've ever had that goes to zero in terms of terminal supply. So there'll never be more than 21 million Bitcoin. And I think that's a huge deal because, you know, as I said earlier, money is always whatever is the hardest to make. And now Bitcoin is the hardest thing to make. And then the second property, which is extremely important as well, is the fact that it operates without the need to trust in anybody. It doesn't have a party that is in charge of it. It doesn't have a central authority that can, um, you know, it's, as I said, it's peer to peer. So there's, it only has users. It doesn't have any admins. There's no authority in charge of Bitcoin that can take your Bitcoin, that can stop you from using Bitcoin, uh, that can change the rules of Bitcoin. They can't make more of it. So it's fixed. It's available for anybody in the world. It's the hardest money ever invented. And it is absolutely, uh, I think, an, an, an enormously, enormously significant invention because um, if you read the fiat standard and the Bitcoin standard as well, you'll see my perspective for why I think a very large number of problems on the world are in the world are caused by easy money, are caused by inflation and um, caused by government having access to essentially an infinite uh, recourse to people's wealth. And I think uh, Bitcoin fixes this because it allows us to have money that has the saleability of gold across time, meaning it holds its value across time like gold, but much better than gold. But also it has similar to, it is similar to fiat and that fiat can travel quickly, but Bitcoin can travel even faster than fiat. So it, combines gold's saleability across time with fiat saleability across space in one immutable package that nobody can change and nobody can control. Can you define the word saleability? Saleability is the essential property of money. It's the ability of a good to be sold easily on the market, specifically to be sold without much loss in its value. So houses are great for living in, but they're not very saleable. You know, if you wanna sell a house, you can't just click a button and sell a house and have a giant market of people buying houses from you. You need to find, um, you need to find somebody who wants the exact house that you have with the exact specifications that you have. And because, you know, houses are not identical, there's no liquid giant market for people to just buy and sell identical houses from. Um, so uh, gold, for instance, has uh, good saleability as money because it's a liquid good, it's uniform, and people are always buying it. Fiat dollars have great sellability because everybody's always buying and exchanging dollars for other goods. So if you have a $100 bill, you can easily get rid of it and you'll get $100 worth of stuff for it. If you have $100 worth of stuff, it's harder to get rid of it. If you have $100 worth of phone, it's not as easy to spend it as a $100 bill. That's sellability. What do you mean that Bitcoin, I understand that Bitcoin has the sellability of gold across time. Hmm. 
better even yeah better yes like on the order or whatever um and then and then it has a syllability of fiat across space what does that mean so if you remember when you asked me what is the advantage of fiat what is the um, advantage it offers us it's it's cheaper to move fiat across space than it is to move gold you know with with the current fiat monetary system for all of its flaws you know you can send money uh you know i could send money from my bank account in the us to a bank account in china in a couple of days or in Britain, in France, in a day or two, which is you know much faster than you could do with gold and much cheaper than you could do with gold. But in reality with fiat, you know, the reason Bitcoin improves on that is that with Bitcoin, you're actually selling, you're, you're sending final settlement in a couple of hours. So you send the Bitcoin transaction, you get six confirmations in an hour. You get about 12 confirmations in two hours on average. With 12 confirmations, you know, you're pretty um, definitely clearly safe on this. So within a couple of hours, you could send a billion dollars across the ocean and have final settlement on them. It's not just that you've sent a credit obligation that's gonna need weeks and months to settle, which is the case with fiat. So it is faster than fiat effectively. So it's harder than gold and faster than fiat. That's a good way of putting it.